Hey everybody, Jeremy up here at Cowtown. Today I'd like to give you a little walkthrough on a, what we call our Sport Bass Legend SS 17 by 52 flat bottom boat. Um, this particular setup is a little bit different than our traditional style bass boats. We made this a little bit more economical, um, not quite as many options, but a great boat for fishing smaller waters, uh, more of a horsepower range on the smaller end of things. You know, we could run a 60 horsepower would be as small as I would want to go on this, uh, 60, 40, and we could run all the way up to like our 115, 80s. We do a lot of those as well. Now this boat's going to be awesome for like the upper Merrimack, the Burbis, you know, um, some great smallmouth fishing. You could gig off the front of this boat. So a lot of different options. It's very well rounded as far as the versatility. Now I'll start up here at the front. This particular setup does have a tread plate package on it. Um, it does come with a trolling motor mount. So you don't have to add any mounts or anything like that to install the trolling motor. Um, it's got a trolling motor plug on the other side here, and we've got the wiring ran all the way to the back of the boat already. So uh, already pre-wired, don't have to add any of that if you decide you want to put a trolling motor on. Now this does have the five foot front deck, so this is going to be very similar to our bass boat models with the five foot front deck. It's pre-wired up to the front right there for your running lights, um, as well as in the back corner of gusset it has a spot for your anchor light. Now it's got two spots right here, two doors, um, two dry storage doors. Now these do have what I call a kind of a drip rail. So if it rains, water's gonna come in, it'll get in that rail, and it actually has a tube that goes down underneath the subfloor. So it's gonna keep everything, I'm gonna tell you, about 90% dry in there, other than a little bit of condensation you may get. Um, you do have locking latches, so you can lock them, keep all of your you know, fishing tackle or whatever you may have in there safer. Um, we do have a seat base up on the front deck. So this boat, you can add extra seats if you decide you want to purchase a butt seat or an extra fold-over seat or whatever it may be, you can do so. Now if you look down on the floor of the boat here, this boat does have a floor and interior sides fully carpeted. It's got a couple extra spots right there for more seats as well. So if you wanted to purchase a couple more seats to throw in here, you can do so. It does come standard with a driver and passenger seat, so you've got those already. Now this boat we did equip with a side rod box. So this is a locking box as well, locking latch. It does have the rod tubes that run all the way to the front of the boat. You know, uh, I believe this will accommodate a seven and a half foot rod as well. So this is, like I said, the versatility of this boat's great. You know, uh, plenty of room for people, rod, storage. It's got a little bit of everything. Now coming back here a little bit farther, you can see our console. This is not a John boat console. This is the same kind of structure as our bass boat console. It just does not have the face plate and it's just going to have one gauge in it, which is going to be your uh, tachometer. That's kind of going to vary depending on engine. We can get um, Evernerd engines we've got. We've got Suzuki engines. We are now a Mercury dealer as well. So we've got a pretty wide variety of engines that we can put on the back of these boats. This boat actually has an Evernerd 115 high output, which is a 130 horsepower engine. So we've, uh, we've got it rigged out, and this boat runs extremely well. I'm going to tell you this is probably a 40 mile an hour boat, give or take, right around there. Um, underneath your seats, this has actually got two seat boxes that double as gravity fed live wells. So if you want to use them as dry storage, throw the plug in and do it. Or if you want to use this live well, you've got plenty of room to do so. We've got the rear bench in the back. Now this is filled full of flotation. This boat has flotation uh, everywhere in it. You could drill four inch holes in it and it's not gonna sink to the bottom of the lake. It, it's also got the seat base on the rear bench. So you've got plenty of spots for fishing, whether it be off the front deck, back deck, center of the boat, plenty of room there. Now this boat, we did our traditional style corner gussets. You know, we run these on all of our boats. You know, we, that's a huge structural um, you know, marketing for us, you know, anyways, this is just huge for us just because of the weight of the engines, you know, pulling back on the transom. This is what's going to save you going up and down a gravel road and all that weight bounce on the back of the boat. Huge deal there. Now, I'll come over here and talk a little bit about the knee braces. Our bigger bass boats, we do do three knee braces, but we're putting 250 horse, 300 horsepower engines on the back of them. Biggest we would ever see on the back of one of these, I'm going to tell you, is probably be a 150. So uh, we run the two knee braces on this boat. They are built the exact same as our bass boats. You can see they are wrap around knee braces. They are all TIG welded. 
you know they're integrated into the bottom of the boat as well as the transom so all the structure is there very very similar to our uh, standard bass boats now this does have the double walled gunnel rail as well 125 gauge you know that's going to be the backbone of the boat keep all the flex out from the front to the back and uh, coming back to the transom here we did run trim tabs on these boats still and we did run a splash plate so this is going to be i started the video and said you know kind of an economical boat it is going to be a little bit cheaper than our bigger um you know bass boats so but we didn't sacrifice any of the structure on these boats we made sure to keep them strong keep them keep them where they're going to last forever you know they're very stout and ready to hit the water i do want to go back and touch base a little bit on the steering helm up here now what it's got is a safety helm so you don't get the feedback on these things you know we've got this engine i can push on it i'll push the boat before the steering wheel goes anywhere so we don't feel the torque from this from the engine and the steering wheel we could run down the water let go of the steering wheel it's still going to go in a straight line it's not going to put us into the bank not that i recommend that but you could do it uh, so with that being said guys this legend ss model 1752 sport bass has been great for us we've been putting this model out for the past few years you know a lot of different horsepower options we can do a lot of different options we can add to this boat there's a reason everybody calls them a legend you know they've done a very good job for us over the years so if you have any questions at all give us a call 573-885-6300